Dear students and Prathima, I welcome you all to this video. So today we will solve another competency-based question or case study question based on linear equation in two variables. So you can read the question mindfully. Jodhpur is the second largest city in Indian state Rajasthan and officially the second metropolitan city in state. Jodhpur is a popular tourist destination featuring many palaces, forts and temples. In the stark landscape of the third desert, it is popularly known as Blue City. Among the people in Rajasthan all over the India, Last year, Rahul visited Jodhpur with a group of 25 friends. They, when they went to Mehragal Fort, they found the following fare for the ride. For a horse, in the normal hours of the fare is 50 and peak hours when the tourists are more, it is 150. And for elephant, normal hour, it takes rupees. 100 for one elephant and in the peak hours it is rupees 200. Now based on this the questions such are given information on the first day they rode in normal hours and paid rupees 1950 for the ride and are guided that let x be the number of horses higher and y be the number of elephants higher the number of horses and elephants hired by the rahul and his friends and it carries two marks second part is the fort occupies a very large area and they could not see it entirely on the first day so they decided to revisit the next day but they were peak hours on the second visit. So calculate the increase in charges they have to pay due to peak hours. It carries two weeks. So I hope you have read the questions clearly, mindfully. If needed, you can pause the video, you can read the question. Now let us start answering. Here it is already given. Take the number of horses is x and number of element is y so we'll start from there only let number of horses they hire b x and number of elephants b Now these are the variables. Now we'll make the equation. First equation is Rahul visited Jodhpur Park with the group of 25 friends. That means they will hire some horses and some elephant, but the sum should be equal to 25 because they are it is not allowed that two people will sit on a horse or an elephant. So this is your equation one. Next, on the first day, when it was normal, they, so we have taken a horses as X and this is Y. So, they are paying the fare 15 to X and per elephant Y, so it will be 100 into Y. So, the money they are paying 1950. So, 50X plus 100Y is equal to 1950. This is your equation 2. You have to solve it. We can divide this equation 2 with 2. Or I can divide directly with 50 to make it lowest. So it will be x plus 2y is equal to, if I divide with 5, it will be 5, 3 times 15, 5, 9. This is your ultimately equation 2 in the form. Now I will solve these two equations. You can also solve this. Just subtracting 
one from two. Y is equal to how much? 39 minus 25, that will be 40. So, Y, Y, we have taken number of elephants. Now, X plus Y is equal to 25, you will put in equation 1. X plus 14 is 25. So, X is equal to 11, that is number of horses. So part one we have finished. You can write the statement number of elephants 14 and says 11. Part one is finished. Now coming to part B. Second day they are visiting in peak hours so peak for peak hours this is the fare for horses 150 so 150 into x for elephant 200 into y so in place of x i'll put 11 for y i'll put 14 so total fare second day Eleven multiplies one fifty plus fourteen multiplies two hundred. Zero five. Check once again, 0, 0, 5. So how much? Calculate the increase of charges. So before he was paying 1950, now he is paying 14450. So increase of charge. I hope you have followed. Thank you all my subscribers for subscribing the channel.